Hey beautifuls, hey handsomes. It has been a hot minute since I've been live on this group. So I'm really, really excited to be here. And um, I also am in a new environment. So perhaps a little later in this video, I'll give you guys a tour of the new office. Um, <laughs> So um, if you're not familiar with me, I'm Carly Myers. I'm the founder of A Pop Studios, that stands for A Piece of Positivity Studios. And what I do is I help people who are no longer happy in their jobs find their joy in life. Um, and I do that through a combination of coaching, creative expression, and experiential activities. Um, so today I just wanted to get on Facebook Live and talk to you guys a little bit more about personal power. So it's really been coming up a lot of my clients, whether it's, you know, a sense of sexual empowerment, a sense of, you know, being able to ask for the raise at work, being able to tell, the, tell your boss, you know, um, I'm worth more than this. Um, really just reclaiming your sense of power in social situations, in, you know, in a situation with yourself. No, I don't want to do that. Yes, I do. Um, bring ourselves from the shoulds. I should you know, go to the gym, I should do that, I should do that. We're just like piling burden after burden on our shoulders, weight after, you know, weight. And, you know, what I've been talking to my clients about recently is how to find that sense of power. Um, you know, just before this, you know, just before now, like just a few minutes ago, I finished up a call with a client who really wanted to, you know, really determine, like really wanted to find her sense of power in her spiritual relationship with, with God, with the universe, whatever you believe in, whatever you might call it. And we were talking about how there are, you know, many ways to communicate, right? There, there is, especially in uh, religion, right? There's like the spiritual text, there's praying, and then that's, that's about it, right? That's what we're taught. But there are so many other ways that we can engage. And what I would like to say is so many other ways that we can find our sense of power and our sense of purpose in life, um, in our careers, and our relationships. And so what I've been working with with my clients is really determining what is that thing? What is that form of communication? What is that flow of energy that is going to help you feel powerful, right? Like let your chest expand, your shoulders down, your hair back, feel power and freedom and lightness. And so this is what I want to have you guys ask yourself. This is what I want you to ask yourself, you know, take get a get a pen, a pencil, a piece of paper and answer this prompt. If I had time or money, I would blank. If I had time or money, I would go dancing. If I had time or money, I would make art. If I had time or money, I would start my own company. If I had time or money, I would tell my boss to shove it, right? What, did it, what is it, um, what is the thing that you're going to do? And perhaps it's an activity. So most of the time it's, I would start, I would write. I would become a writer. I would, I would go dancing. I would create art. I would read more, you know, whatever it is. Answer those things for yourself. Take a moment and answer them. And go through that list. Try out those things. And usually it's the first thing that you list that's going to give you that sense of personal power. You know, um, last night I was on a call with one of, one of my clients and we were talking and talking and talking. And I could tell we were just, we were spinning our wheels. We were going in circles. And I said to her, I said, okay, what's your, what's your favorite thing to dance to? You know, she was saying, I, I really want to go dance, but I'm busy here. I'm busy this time. I, I have something to do this weekend. I've got, you know, papers are great on Monday and da, 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 right? All the excuses were coming up. And I said, what is your favorite type of music to dance to? And she said, 80s and 90s music. I said, okay, what is your favorite 80s song? She said, I like Duran Duran. I said, okay, what's your favorite song? She said, I don't know. I just, I just love Duran Duran. So I said, okay, we are going to do right now. I, I pulled up Duran Duran. A minute and 30 seconds, you're going to dance your heart out. In that moment, she found her personal power in less than a minute and 30 seconds. Because what she was, what she did was she 
was able, you know, for her, dancing was the energetic flow and allowed her to release that energy, to find her power, to feel free, to laugh, to let her hair down and to say, this is who I am, God damn it, and this is what I want in life. And so whatever it is for you, you know, it doesn't have to be exuberant energy like it was for her. It doesn't have to be like goofy, crazy dancing in your living room. It can be picking up a book. It can be whatever. Let me ask you this. What is it that you, write these down right now, grab that piece of paper. If you have to pull it up, um, you know, on your computer, on your phone, you know, whatever, pull it up. What is it that you, you know, type it in the comments. What is it, if you had the time or the money, what would you do? I want to know. And how can we do it now? You know, for, for her, for my previous, the client that I talked to yesterday, she, she was like, I want to go, I would go dancing. For her, there was a, there was a barrier and the barrier is I have to go somewhere to dance. I have to go to a dance studio. I have to go to a bar. I have to go somewhere. The reality is, is that she could dance here now in this moment and enjoy the F out of her life. She found her personal power, not only for her sexuality, because we were talking about sexuality for her. She found it for her career to say yes and no to things that, you know, did and didn't serve her, right? That were more efficient, less efficient. She was saying, okay, this isn't efficient. I'm going to stand up for what it is, what is best for not only me, but for the, my, my workplace. In that minute and 30 seconds, she was able to release all of her blocks and move forward and make quick decisions to create the life that she wanted. So answer that question. If I had time or money, I would blank. I want to know the answers. Type them in the comments. And let's figure out a solution so that you can really step into your personal power, so that you can create the career that you want, so that you can take care of yourself, so that you can find that relaxed state of mind and feel like you're living your authentic life. And, you know, if you're sitting here and you're skeptical and you're like, you know, I'm not sure, I, I want to create these things, I should go dancing, right? I should go dancing, but you're not doing it, then it's time to have a conversation. I have a few spots on my calendar um, this coming week into the next week. Um, let me know. Let's, you know, let's talk. It's complimentary, 30 minutes. We can figure out where you're at, what's going on, what's getting in the way, and help you move forward in that sense of personal power and create the life that you want. Okay, I love you guys. It's always great to share some time with you on Facebook Live, and I will see you soon. Okay.